Trust your emerald heart. Be who you came here to be. Unlock your true potential. Welcome to Trust Your Emerald Heart podcast and this is Victoria, B-School Space and today's transmission is called Transmuting Betrayal and Building Trust from Within. This is a little bit unusual transmission because it is not the audio transmission it is actually the visual transmission and there is a link to YouTube in the footnotes you can go there and receive the visual and it is represented in the lotus flower in the picture in the visual in the petals of this flower and all the petals are encoded with the code to transmute to open up to release Yet here in the podcast, I'm posting the audio for this transmission so that you can think about it and you can receive and you can redirect your attention to that betrayal which you might have experienced in life. And I want to tell you that the important thing is that more or less everyone has experienced betrayal, whether it is in the relationship, in the family, in the friendship, very severe or minor it doesn't matter but everyone had that experience and what is important is we shut down our hearts we lock our hearts just like I mentioned in healing the hidden chambers of the heart transmission it is necessary for us to look into that experience and into what is playing out now You know, oftentimes when we have some traumatic experience, we kind of don't want, don't feel like going back into that. Don't want to remember, just numb it somehow and hide it in the depth of uh, our psyche so that, you know, we don't think about it at all. But the thing is that we suppress it in the subconscious mind and then we kind of numb it and allow the projections of that experience to play out in this life in all our new experiences where we are not fully open but we are just kind of like a little bit here a little bit there we're not fully breathing and I invite you to actually reflect on your journey and to see where you have experienced something like that and how you can transmute that and how you can open up and build trust from within in your own heart so that you can open up for more and allow new relationship, new connections and new experiences to come into your life. And it often happens so that We are blocking those experiences ourselves from our subconscious mind. And as soon as we release those blocks and those programs, we are able to have it all. If what I'm sharing resonates with you, I am also inviting you to order a personal energy transmission, which is an energy healing for me to attune to your energy and to help you transmute and clear up and remove those blocks and programs on a personal level so that you can refocus, redirect and go to the next level of expansion by attuning to a different frequency which is available for you. You can only request, you can only open up and ask for more. It is there for all of us. So connect with me and have a look at the footnotes for the video transmission and for other options to go deeper into this topic. And it is actually very, very important for us to go deeper. Enjoy the transmission. Transmuting betrayal 
building trust from within. If you ever felt betrayed, it is very difficult to build trust from within again, especially if it was done by your own family members or a spouse. As if you were stabbed with a sword from your back. You might feel so much pain you cannot trust anyone. Or you might even have this physical back pain also. If your heart was hurt, you shut up the chambers protecting the gem inside. You start living as if you are having half a breath all the time. Not really dead, but not fully living either. You can taste, feel, enjoy, everything seems to be okay, but there is no real depth, because you do not fully, truly open for anyone to see you raw. You are scared, scared to be seen, scared to be hurt, to be real, to be judged. But how does it actually make you feel? You probably want to create a family, to build trust with your partner, but consciously or unconsciously, you always have this projection of the past ghosting your experience. The only way out is within. The only possible way to address that pain or fear is to look it straight into the face and meet it deeply within. What is it? How does it make you feel? What does it remind you of? Are you able to recollect the memories? Is it the first time? Or is it a repeated pattern? Whenever something has been brought to your awareness, there is a way of stepping out of it. To be able to move on and grow from it, you need to start with pure devotional love primarily for yourself and your own experience. Yes, your ego might still be asking you to address the density inside, but your past is not here to destroy your future. What matters is now. Why are you allowing your past? to condition your experience. As long as you will be running away from your trauma, it will be played out in your life again and again. And moreover, you will always be attracting trauma bonds, people with whom you can possibly heal that. If you are conscious enough to be able to address your situation, to ask your partner or family member to create a non-judgmental space for your self-expression, to hold your space for healing, this is an opportunity for you to address the core issue very quickly. You can also ask a spiritual guide to hold your space. There is so much beauty in the vulnerability. Allow your heart to shine again. Fill your own cup with love. Love for yourself first. Deep devotional love. Accepting every bit and part of yourself. Forgiving yourself fully. And then cultivating love and compassion for everyone including the enemy. You are here to love. You came here from love and for love. Allow yourself to be full of love again. Remember who you truly are. You are love. Thank you for being a part of my experience and community and for your interest to transform your life. My name is Victoria Kshivinska, B-School Space, and I am here to support you in your spiritual journey and to create a better reality together. Explore the footnotes available and opt in to download meditations and other offerings suitable for your needs. Reach out via email to ask me questions 
and to explore the possibilities to work together. If you found this recording useful, set up a high rating and share with those who might benefit from it as well. I will be happy to talk to you soon again. Subscribe not to miss the publications. I love you. Victoria Kshivinska